Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about something that you should never neglect on your Android device. So it doesn't matter if you have a Google Pixel or if you have a Samsung phone, you never wanna neglect and be so outdate when it comes down to the Google Play system update. Because Google Play is where you get the majority of all your applications, especially those third party applications. So if you don't get this one updated, then you're just more likely to be more vulnerable. But some people didn't know where to find it, how to find it, didn't even know that it was even there. Also too, didn't know that you can tap on it so then this way you can restart your phone find that install and download so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you where you can find it on the google pixel device and on your samsung phone so this way you are at the most up to date so what you can do for example really on any of these phones but i'm just going to show it when it comes down to this pixel here is that you can just simply go inside of your settings and you want to go into search and you can just simply type in Google Play system update, or just type in Google Play and you're gonna find it. And where you're able to find it, if you don't wanna search it, is inside of your settings, about phone, and then you tap on Android version. And it's gonna be sitting right in here and then this will highlight to let you know that you can actually tap on it. So this way you can restart your phone, it's going to download uh, or find the last update to download and install. Now, I was pretty good with keeping the Pixel 7 Pro up to date there, but when it comes down to these two devices, I was one of those people that neglected it. The Fold 4 was one I, ne I neglected a little bit longer, uh, but it is also not my daily driver. So where you're able to find it in your Samsung phone is you just want to go inside of your settings. Then you're going to go down and you want to go inside of about phone. And once you scroll down, you want to go inside of software information. And in this screen here, which is letting you know, you know, basically you have that One UI 5.1 or 5.0. There's your Android version of 13. Right there, the very next one is showing you your Google Play system update. You can see this one was uh, updated till January 1st. So I didn't do it in February or March, and now we're in April. So if I tap on it, you can see that this update size is 724. I'm gonna go to download and install. If I was to go over here, you can see I haven't done it since November 1st. So that is a very long time. Now, the reason why I'm kind of going through all of these is because they're all gonna show you different numbers and different steps. Uh, also too, I believe I updated my Galaxy S23 Ultra the other day, um, but all it did was it allowed it to find the download and install. So when I thought I updated it, it really didn't update. So we're gonna go through the steps and make sure everything is done properly and just to see how many updates there are. And as you can see, even with us doing that Google Play system update, you can even see the wallet because this is connected through Google, you know, with Google Pay and such. So this wallet right here is also updating. So there's a lot of things in the background that you definitely want to get this, you know, updated to the latest. So I'm going to go again right through the search results, Google Play system update. I'm going to tap on it. And so it says right here, March 1st, we're going to make sure that there's nothing left because sometimes you might have to do this once, twice, three times. So here we go. I'm going to check for updates, make sure that this one is done and complete. Then I'll be able to move it out so it says right here your device is up to date so maybe this one was actually updated to the march 1st which is why we saw that march 1st security patch but there still needed to be a restart after we tapped on it so that is another reason why you always want to make sure and take a look at it because even though it seems like maybe you got it done and correct you want to go through it one more time to make sure there's not a additional step so now pretty much all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through both of these devices again, make sure that everything is done because you wanna go through it at least two or three times uh, just to make sure that you are up to date because again, I thought that these ones were there. So even on this phone over here, if you wanted to, you can search for it. So I'm gonna go to Google Play and then it shows up right here, Google Play System Update. So this way you don't have to go through every single thing. You'd also be able to take a look at it through your security and privacy with through the settings. And right here you see Google Play System Update. We were sitting right there November 1st. We were there from beforehand and I just restarted the phone. So now you can see again, look at this, update size, 724. We're gonna go to download and install. So when you went through it the first time, maybe you thought you were done, here we go. I'm gonna restart it again and I'm gonna do the same search over here. Right over here with the Google Play system update. Here we go, tap on this one. It's still January 1st, as you saw right at the beginning of this video. We thought we went through. Here's another one, 48 megabytes. We're gonna go through, download and install. So we're gonna keep doing this until it goes all the way to the very end. And hopefully it'll say something like March 1st or April 1st, or at least the notification stating that we got the latest update. Now, I'm also gonna state at this point in the video, I usually like to say that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, or even your Google devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos.
So here we go, searching for it again. We went back into that security and privacy screen, or you could just simply search for Google Play and you'll find the Google Play system update. This one still says November 1st. Now this update size is 56 megabytes. This one was definitely different than the one before. Uh, here we are, February 1st, so at least it doesn't say January anymore. So we'll, let's, let's hope and pray that this one's fully uh, done and complete. So it looks like last check, your device is up to date. So we don't have it stating for Android for uh, April 1st yet, but here we go. At least we got it all the way up to date with the latest version right here. This one's saying March 1st. Again, this was me going through it about, what, three or four times on this device. And this one, we're actually still going through it just because this one is a little bit later. So it's basically updating all of them, you know, month after month. So this one over here is done and complete. We're still going through the whole process on the Z Fold 4 just because it has been so outdated. It's, it's updating all of these months right after each other. So again, make sure that you take a look at it because maybe you think you're done, but there might be another one. Maybe you, re, you reset your phone, but then it just allows you to at least download and install it and that's it. And then once you download and install it, you got to restart it again. So this one's a little tricky but it's a very simple process. You just wanna keep going through it a few times to make sure make sure that you do have it all the way. So like I said from before, we're gonna go through this again. We're gonna keep shooting all the way up until this one is finished. Well, actually, as we're still going through the process over here, what you can do when you are finished with your device is open up your Google Play. The top right-hand side, click on your little icon and just make sure that you are you know, logged in with your Gmail that you would like to be you know, using at that moment because you can have multiple Gmails on your device. Go inside of Manage Apps and Device. And then through here, you'd be able to update all, or you can take a look at all of the applications that you have to update. So when you go through here, take a look at it, see if there's maybe some newer updates that you haven't seen from before. So again, you wanna make sure you have the latest version of the Google Play Protect and, or the Google Play System Update. Then you wanna go through, uh, and then you can update some of those applications. So here we go, we're gonna go through this one more time, searching in that Google Play, at least it was already stored. Here we go, Google Play System Update. Google Play says, ooh, it looks like uh, March 1st, so we should hopefully be all the way finished with this one. Yep, here we go. Your device is now up to date. So it took about four or five times when it came down to the Z Fold 4, but at least now we are at the latest up-to-date version. You go inside of the Play Store, again, on the very top, go to Manage Apps and Device. Then now you can see if there's newer ones to update. You can see that it changed from basically five to seven. So maybe that update brought along a few little updates with it itself, which was maybe about two of them. And now you are updating those applications as well, as well as having your Google Play system update at its latest. So that is all that I wanted to show you in today's video. And it doesn't only work just with the Samsung devices, it works with any Android. So if you have a Google Pixel, you can do those exact same steps as well. So I wanna make sure you guys knew about this. I thought that I was at my latest update on the S23 Ultra, but I wasn't, and it was because it's a little tricky, there's additional steps, and you just have to do it a few additional times. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.